Okay, so let's uh, look at uh, the last couple of videos I'd like to concentrate on is uh, setting up your drawings ready for printing. Um, so the first thing I want to do is just uh, go back and point out the difference between these three middle columns. So uh, let's have a look at this one. This is referred to as the project map. Um, now I just want to make it clear that what these uh, these little windows do is jump you from one view to another. So for example I can this is the ground floor level uh, is what I'm seeing here. I think I've, I've drawn the site over here from er, an earlier tutorial but basically uh, that's all I see on in that drawing or that part of the model. I can then, uh, I, I think I've shown you before some interior elevations so I can uh, show you a drawing like this. Um, and uh, back to the ground floor. Now what I wanted to do is point out that all um, we're doing here is jumping from one view to the other without necessarily telling ARCHICAD to change any of the settings. So it's a fairly, um, I guess, um, a dumb jump that is ARCHICAD will leave the scale the way it is, will leave the layers the way they are. We're not asking it to remember anything about this particular drawing. All we're doing is jumping from one view to the other. Um, this middle column allows us the opportunity to not only save that view, but also save that view um, with inbuilt information so that um, certain layers may be switched on or off depending on how we decide to save this view. So for example on a floor plan we may not necessarily want this great big interior elevation marker sitting in there. So this marker has been added in a layer called marker elevations. Yeah? Uh, there it is there. Now if we decide we want that switched off, uh, what we need to do is go into layers. Now remember layers is under uh, um, uh, documents, layers, layer settings. If we want the keyboard command, worth remembering that one, you use it a lot, control L. So um, we open that up, we switch off that um, that layer, it was, uh, what was that layer? Internal markers, interiors, yeah? So we switch that one off and that marker should now disappear. So when we save this as our floor plan view, it will remember to switch that layer off, even if it happens to be on at the time. So. Um, the way we save this as a floor plan, we come down to this little button at the bottom, Save Current View. Click on it, and you can see in this dialog box, it goes through and tells you um, the, all the things that it's saving about this particular view. It's saving the layers, uh, it's saving the scale, and a number of other things. So um, I can create that as my floor plan view. Um, I can go back in here and set up a number of other views. So for example I can double click this and or maybe one of these views where I've, uh, I've put some information. And if I, uh, I can decide to change this to a different scale, say 1 to 50, uh, and save this as in that middle column as a bathroom detail. Okay, so I can go into custom, change the name of this view to uh, kitchen kitchen renovation. So let's call it 01 and create. 
Now what this will do is maybe uh, I could change the layer combination if I wanted to. I could uh, I've changed the scale and I can change a number of things. Now what ArchiCAD does is remember those characteristics for each one of those views. So I can jump to this view it has changed the scale back to 1 to 100. If I jump to this view it changes the scale now to 1 to 50. And I could go on and on and set up a whole lot of drawings each with, each with their own specific scale layer combination so that every time I double click each one of these views it automatically sets those characteristics for that view. And in some ways it's a much better alternative to navigate through a project once you've set up all your views um, through this middle column rather than this column here. Okay, because this one automatically sets them up the way eventually you'll be placing them on a sheet. Once they once you have populated this column with the drawings that you want to end up printing, what we do is we jump back to this third column, open up the sheets that we started creating, and what we can do then is drag the uh, all the drawings that we created in this middle column onto this sheet. And you do that uh, by you can by just grabbing them and dragging them across. Okay, uh, what it's done, it has uh, set up like a uh, a porthole back to my model view so that I can uh, change the size of the frame which is this dotted line so uh, if by clicking this button here I can uh, let's click it again I can crop the size of this image down to suit how I would like to see it on my drawing and I can drag control D just like any object in ArchiCAD I can drag that around. You notice that um, an image like this has got a particular um, title it's been uh, added to. If I click the tool I can go through and uh, change the, uh, the title. So uh, I can uh, for example switch off the north point. We don't usually put a north point on the end and um, we can change the uh, name of that title instead of custom uh, to whatever title we've called it in the view map column and it automatically uh, updates gives me the scale um, and as I change the model so for example if I hit F2 jump back to the model and I was to say delete this door uh, jump back to my layout it will automatically update and change and show reflect the changes that I make to the building. So it's worth your while getting these layouts done as quickly as possible because as you start working on your model they automatically update. Um, and we can drag in another one so for example this kitchen detail that we had I can drag that in and it will automatically set this up to the same settings uh, as I originally saved it and I can control D for drag I could drag this one around and just like I did before I could crop the size or the sides of this drawing down and uh, get it to reflect the same sorts of things as I want to show on the final drawing okay um, and I can also uh, open up the uh, dialog box and change it to its ID say name only and also remove that north point okay um, so that it gives you an idea of how you can start to lay out your drawings. Uh, there is a, uh, a, a normal format for drawings and I'm sure somebody is going to uh, explain that to you. But that gives you an idea of 
how you can start to create your layouts. The name of each layout or the name of each drawing uh, can be changed through here. So this one I might call say ground floor plan and I could start to create more uh, layouts by clicking this button. I could create one say called uh, elevations and throw and so on through your list of drawings. Okay. Um, you can apply the master layout through settings. You can also apply it by just dragging that master layout over the top of your sheet and it automatically sets it up. So um, <coughs> my suggestion is um, have a play with that. Create, uh, spend a bit of time creating your sheets, um, setting up the final drawings that you'll end up putting onto those sheets and um, and then transferring them across to the layouts, having a look at them. Uh, next we'll be looking at printing.